Good morning, y'all. She got me an air conditioner yesterday. But she got herself an air conditioner. But she surprised me with it because I've been really, really hot in here. So thank you, baby. You're welcome, baby. But I got it for you because I uh, haven't um, been hot. Oh. Um, I said that, yeah. No. You said I, she got herself an air conditioner, but she surprised me with mm. It's all for you. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I had a conversation with her a couple of days ago because I felt displaced. That's not the word I use, but I'll just say displaced. Like, I feel like I didn't have anywhere to go because my van is at the shop and my car doesn't have its bed. They've both been my home for three and a half years and I don't have either. I was not really sad, but I just felt like I didn't belong anywhere, which is weird. She was really, really sweet. She took me to the movies to get my mind off of it. And then now she got the air conditioner, so I can be a little more comfy in here. She cleaned up and everything, just trying to make me feel at home. And I really, really appreciate it. I will be getting a call about my van either today or tomorrow. They said three to five days. So I am starting with my new client in two days. I will be their newborn baby's night nurse. He will be just two days old when I start. So I will be surprising them with a thank you slash push present. I will make sure he's breathing through the night, make sure he's waking up to feed. When he's up, I will take him into his mom's room, help him latch on so he can eat. And then once he's all full, I will take him back to bed and do it all over again in three hours. Yeah, so that's what's going on. No. Hold on. I have a call from... Ah. Did y'all see that? <sighs> I think that was the van. I need to call them back, but I'm going to deliver this and then call them back. On my way in and on my way back. All right, so the service techs were not available, so I'll probably find out more about the van tomorrow. But I did want to give y'all a quick hair update. It's just been a few days. I noticed that my hair is already super soft. I've been using the tea tree oil and the sulfur 8. When I opened up the jar, the sulfur 8 smelled fine. But I want to say maybe 20 minutes after I put it on my scalp, it had like a... My fiance told me that I smell like her grandma. So <laughs> it kind of been gay, you know, I've only had a few flakes and not like the big, thick, chunky ones like I've had before. So I guess I can already see a difference. And I actually like wearing my hair like this. I have never worn my hair like this in twist. It's super simple, but I've always worn the same style over and over and over again for years and years and years. It's been the same style. I just don't like doing my hair. <laughs> However, I'm really excited because my kit just came in the mail. It's a detox clarifying scalp system by Curlsmith. Now I'm going to be honest, I didn't do a lot of research. I probably only watched three or four videos until I stumbled across this influencer who has a lot of curls and she also has seborrheic dermatitis. That's what y'all told me I had. So this has probiotics in it. It also has fermented rice water, apple cider vinegar, hyaluronic acid, and tea tree oil, which is basically everything y'all told me to get. So it's all here in one kit. I'm excited. I'm also really excited about my first bonnet and this is my first unboxing video. Just look at that smile on my face. I'm so excited. Okay, tie it around and oh, my milkshakes. I hope they don't bring the boys to the yard. Okay, <laughs> okay all right, huh? Oh, I thought you said something. Oh, you call my name? Oh. I whip my hair back and forth. Okay, it's not coming off now. All I have to do is wear it in public and I can activate my black card. Hey. They've got me on hold, but the shop said my van is ready for pickup. So my fiance takes me to go pick up Big Bertha. And this is what they say is wrong with it. I need to replace my spark plugs for $9.59, a coil for $6.24, and a slew of other things. And the grand total came up to about $25,000. I mean, $2,500. <laughs> my money is still there. I left my money there to see if they were going to take it. 
Ugh. Sheesh. Alright, let's do this. Y'all, it is my first night with the baby. And I am on my way. just got off and now I am heading to the van. I can't wait to get in bed. I haven't had a newborn newborn in quite some time. The last night nurse position I had was about a year ago and the baby was five weeks. So newborn but still not new new. This is new new. It, it wasn't rough but it was it was new new. <laughs> so good out here. Oh, it feels good in here. Never been so excited to get in my van. The only thing is that I have to pee. Even though I'm in the driveway of my fiance's place, I don't want to go inside and wake her up. Maybe I'll get like two hours in and then eventually I'll go inside to use the bathroom. Anyways, we'll see y'all in a little bit. Hey, -oh! I'm still in this bitch. Um, <laughs> I just finished doing my wax because it was high time for that. I felt like a werewolf running around here, but that's taken care of. And now I'm about to look at my hair. I haven't, I haven't washed it in, I don't know, like four days, but I'm excited to do my hair because I got that new detox kit from Curlsmith. No, no major changes with my hair. All I know is that my scalp has been ridiculously itchy, like unnormally itchy, unusually. I don't know if that means that the products that I'm using is killing the yeast or bacteria or whatever it is, but it just, it's never itched like this. But I'm just hopeful, I'm hopeful that it's doing the job. I have a little bit of shine on my fingers. Y'all, I'm still trying to figure out, I don't, I, <laughs> I haven't figured this whole influencer thing out yet, but there's a little bit of shine, which means that it's still, the grease is still on my scalp. So I'm hoping because it's medicated, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. There we go. Wait, am I? Okay. All right. <laughs> now it's time for the scratch test. I don't see any big flakes. Just a few. Let me, I got to put y'all down. Yeah, I don't really have, I have some flakes, but nothing, nothing, Wow, you guys, this is something new. Y'all are seeing it here first, people. All right, so the pre-wash has prebiotics, the shampoo has probiotics, and the conditioner has postbiotics. So um, I don't know what the fuck that's going to do, <laughs> but it sounds like it's going to do something. So we'll see. Um... I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, see, my hair just feels dry. It feels stripped. It doesn't feel, I don't know. I don't love it. Maybe once I comb it out, it'll feel differently. And this is the look of someone who no longer gives a f All right, update. My hair does feel softer, but I don't know if it's the Curlsmith or if it's the As I Am, but I feel better about it. I add a few tea tree oil drops and do a little twirl about for those who care. I'm working on my patients because my horn is not working. And the sign says to keep it moving, but nobody is to keep it moving. So I cannot keep it moving. So I sit here and I'm working on my patients. Day two of my overnight shift with the baby, the newborn. I am tired. He was up all night. Advice to new moms, if you don't have to, don't introduce your babies to pacifiers. 
they get hooked on them so quickly. I have to keep putting it in their mouths. It keeps popping out. You got to keep all through the night, literally every two minutes. I, that's what it felt like. I could not get any rest. So now I am on my way to the van, take a quick nap, and then I'm having a date day with myself. I'm going to go get my toes done. <gasps> I'm gonna take myself out for lunch and then I'm going to the movies. I'm gonna have a lovely day. Y'all hear that? The long guys are here. So instead of going to the van, I'm gonna go inside and get on my fiance's nerves. Hmm. I'm on my way to get on her nerves. <laughs> I'm here, baby. Oh, sorry, I'm just filming. <laughs> Somebody surprised me by wearing my favorite lingerie. Looks like this video will have a happy ending. Bazinga! I'm running a little late, but my me day has just begun. I'm heading to my stores to change my clothes because I'm going to go see the Barbie movie. Lights green, gotta go. It's always a shade of pink and always a deluxe pedicure. Now I'm just waiting for my lunch, enjoying the sun. I was gonna get some popcorn, but not for $10, the fuck? I have the theater all to myself, just how I like it. And by the way, y'all should go see the movie. All right, so I've been working overnights with this new family and they invited me to the baby's bris. So I am about to get ready. I've never been to a bris before. If you don't know what a bris is, they're Jewish and seven days after a baby boy is born, they take him to a temple to get circumcised. Don't know why they invited me to this. <laughs> But I felt honored. I felt honored that they would consider inviting me to such like a intimate family event. So um, I already feel like I'm part of the family. So I'm, I'm super excited. But first I need to cut my chin hair. My chin hairs only grow on one side and this is right here in this area. So if you ever see me in videos, just like doing this, I'm just doing this on my chin hairs. It kind of feels like braille. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of a habit, so uh, yeah. I was escorted to the temple and my stay as a guest quickly turned into work because big brother didn't like all the attention on little brother, so I had to babysit him in the hallway. Does anybody have like some sort of event coming up soon? Because I feel like I need to make up for this. <laughs> so if you have a birthday party or a cookout, uh, a proposal or a wedding, any gathering, because I am really bummed. I'm really bummed that I can't participate. So now I feel like I gotta go to something else. <laughs> I've never been invited to a wedding. Um, no, once I was invited to a wedding, but it was during COVID and they had to reduce the amount of people that can attend the in-person ceremony and I didn't make the cut. <laughs> So I've never been to a wedding. But I am an ordained minister, so you can either invite me or I'll marry you. All right, so I'm trying to rush back to my fiance's because we had a mechanic come into town. He just arrived. He is like the best of the best of the best of the mechanics. So we offered to get him a flight and a room if he can come work on my van and get it all ready for all the shenanigans I need to get into. And he is here. And he got straight to work just how I like it. So I got my mechanic a room, obviously, because he came all the way here to work on my van. I've never been to this hotel before, so I just wanted to be nosy and check it out before he checked in. Ooh. It's a cute little room for someone to stay and just go to sleep. I couldn't stay long. I had to go to work to be with the baby, but I will see y'all in the next video.